Hello, my name is Miss B and I work at Worthington Park Library. And today I brought with me five fantastic books for fourth graders. So let's get started with the first book. The first book I have for you is The Unbelievable Oliver and the Four Jokers by Pseudonymous Bosque. Now this book is about eight-year-old Oliver and Oliver's dream one day is to become a great uh, magician. The only problem is he has terrible stage fright. So one day his friends actually get him hired as the paid in, um, entertainment at a birthday party, one of his classmates' birthday parties. But Oliver is so unprepared for this job. So he decides to visit a magic shop. But when he, once he leaves the magic shop, all he leaves with is a top hat. To his surprise though, the top hat contains a rabbit, a wisecracking rabbit named Benny. And Benny agrees to help Oliver with this birthday party. Once they get to the birthday party though, things go down. Oliver ends up being accused of stealing one of the birthday presents, a robo cat. So in order for Oliver to actually go through with his, his plan of performing some of the greatest magic tricks at this birthday party, he first has to solve the mystery of who stole the robo cat. To find, more, to find out more about Oliver's story, you should read The Unbelievable Oliver and The Four Jokers. So the next book I have for you is called Other Words From Home by Jasmine Warga. Well, this is a story of Jude. Jude lives in Syria with her family and she's forced to move thousands of miles away. Actually, she moves to Cincinnati, Ohio uh, with her mother. Unfortunately, she must leave her brother and father behind in Syria. Uh, because Syria is facing a lot of war and turmoil, she has to get to safety. But once she gets to America, she realizes that things are so much different from home. She has to cope with living with a family that she's never met before. She has to learn a new language. She has to learn, she goes to a new school and has to make new friends and everything is just too fast and too loud in America. But luckily she's able to find a small support group to help her along the way. So if you wanna learn more about Jude's story, you should read Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga. So this next story is about a fifth grader. This fifth grader's name is also Oliver. And this book is called Tito the Bone Crusher by Melissa Thompson. Now, this is about fifth grader Oliver, and he his dad gets into trouble with the law, and Oliver wants to help his dad break out of prison. But it proves a lot harder than Oliver realizes. But with the help of his friends, Brain and Popcorn, and his favorite wrestler and luchador extraordinaire, Tito the Bone Crusher, Oliver thinks that he can find a way. Well, all he has to do is raise $600, meet Tito, and break his dad out of jail. Does that sound easy? If you want to find out more about Oliver's story and if he proves successful, you should read Tito the Bone Crusher by Melissa Thompson. So the next book I have for you is about a class of misfits. This book is called The Unteachables by Gordon Corman. Now, The Unteachables is a notorious class of misfits. Like Aldo, who has anger management issues, Parker, who can't read, Kiana, who's not even supposed to be in the class, and Elaine, which rhymes with pain. Well, the unteachables are removed from the rest of the student body and isolated in room 117. And this class is taught by Mr. Zachary Kermit, who used to be a fantastic teacher until his career kind of took a tumble with a cheating scandal. Now, Mr. Kermit is one year away from retirement, but the super 
superintendent torpedoes the idea and assigns him to room 117 to teach the unteachables. But the unteachables never realize that Mr. Kermit has just as bad of an attitude as they do. So over a course of the school year, room 117 will experience mayhem and destruction and maybe even the shot at redemption. So if you wanna find out more about this year of The Unteachables, you should read The Unteachables by Gordon Corman. So the last book I have for you today is actually a graphic novel and it's actually a fantastic novel. It is called Lunch Lady and the Cyborg Substitute by Jared, Jared Krasowska. Now, you've seen lunch ladies at school and you probably think they're just ordinary people, right? Who just cook your food for lunch. Well, not this lunch lady. This lunch lady is actually a superhero. And, uh, and life, her secret life as a crime fighting superhero. She's noticed something about the new substitute teacher, Mr. Pasteur. He's not acting like the other teachers. Something wrong is going on when he teaches his classes. And the lunch lady notices that something doesn't seem right. So she makes it her mission to find out what, what's really Mr. Pasteur's aim with being at the school. And she gets a little help from a couple of students, Hector, Terrence, and Dee, who are not only helping her, but investigating who actually she is. So if you really if you want to read more and find out about the lunch lady, you should read Lunch Lady and the Cyborg Substitute by Jared Krasowska. Well, those are all the books I have for you today. If you're interested in any of them, please stop by one of your uh, libraries closest to your home. You can come on in and check them out. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Bye.